Hi, it's Mr. Math here, and I want to show you how to use a double number line. Let's say we have a word problem that involves proportionality, and we need to use some kind of structure to help us to figure out the answer. A double number line can help out. For example, a recipe calls for three cups of sugar and nine cups of water. How many cups of water should we use with two cups of sugar? This is a situation where we can actually use a double number line. So to draw it, we first off with drawing two parallel lines, and we connect the end right here with a vertical line, and put arrows on the end so it goes on forever. On the left side, we put some words to help us to make sure we know where to put these numbers we're about to place. So the two things we have are cups of sugar and cups of water. So instead of putting cups of sugar or cups, I'm gonna put sugar and water. So on the top line, I'll put sugar, and on the bottom line, I'll put water. Now, don't be afraid that you're going to get these in the wrong place. You can't. If you put water on the top and sugar on the bottom, as long as you keep the numbers in the right place, nothing can go wrong. Sugar over water is fine, or water over sugar. Either way is going to work. Now, they give us that three cups of sugar, so I'm going to draw a line and put three on top for the three cups of sugar. We need three cups of sugar for every nine cups of water, so I'm gonna put nine on the bottom. Now, they're asking us if I have two cups of sugar, which is smaller than three, so I'm gonna put a line over here, two cups of sugar, how many cups of water will I need? This is a situation where you wanna find the unit rate. Finding the unit rate is very simple. First, you gotta figure out in the numbers you were given that are paired up, the nine and the three, which one is smaller? That's right, the three, the three smaller than nine. So we're gonna actually make the three into a one or we're gonna divide by something to give you a one. We never add and subtract when we're doing this. So to make three into a one, we have to divide by three. That's right, we're gonna divide by three. So we're gonna take the little arrow. I just like to make little arrows to show my progress to figure out where I'm going. Arrows kind of point to the direction I'm going. So go from three to one, we have to divide by three. Well, if we do this on the top, we have to do this on the bottom. It's like simplifying a fraction. And in fact, if three over nine is a ratio or a fraction, we could simplify this the same way. We would divide by three on top and three on the bottom. Now, what is nine divided by three? That's right, three. Now that we have a unit rate of one to three, one cups of sugar for every three cups of water, we can actually find the two from going from one to two, very simple. How do you go from one to two? That's, that's correct, multiplying by two. We're gonna multiply by two. And if we do this on the top, we have to do it on the bottom. So we multiply by two on the bottom. Three times two is six. So we found our answer. We're gonna need six cups of water for every two cups of sugar. And this is just one of many examples you can use the double number line for. I hope this helps, and I hope you find out how you can use this to help you to ace those tests. Have a great day. Thank you for watching.